Hey, Derek Waller here, and in today's video, we are talking about drinks that burn belly fat. So before I get to the uh, two drinks that I'm gonna share with you here today, we gotta, we gotta cover one thing first, which is these aren't miracle weight loss drinks, meaning you're not gonna drink one of them and magically lose 10 pounds overnight or lose 20 pounds in two days. Like, it just doesn't work that way, and trust me, you don't want to lose 20 pounds in two days because that's going to lead to a lot of other problems that, frankly, you don't want to deal with. Trust me. So if you're still eating the cereal for breakfast and the burger and fries for lunch and the pizza for dinner while these drinks will help, um, you're not going to get the results you want until you address that first. So again, these aren't just miracle weight loss drinks, but they will help you speed up the process. All right, so drink number one, we got apple cider vinegar. So I like using this Bragg's organic kind. You can find it at any grocery store. Um, and there are a couple reasons why we want to do apple cider vinegar. One uh, is it helps insulin, it helps regulate your insulin levels. So insulin is a storage hormone. It's also your number one fat storage hormone. So every time you eat food, your body releases insulin. Unfortunately, if you, since you were a kid, been eating a lot of high carb food, a lot of processed foods, a lot of breads, a lot of pastas, a lot of pizza, things like that, your body keeps cranking out more insulin and it leads to fat storage in the body. So if you have 10, 15 or more pounds to lose, or if your belly's bigger than you'd like it to be, it's not necessarily because you're eating too many calories or that you're not exercising enough or that you're eating too much. Those could all play into it, but it's likely that you just have an insulin problem. Your body's producing way more insulin than it needs. So just to keep it simple, just remember, if you want to burn fat and lose weight, keep your insulin levels as low as possible. One way to do that is to drink apple cider vinegar because it helps the amount of insulin that's released when you eat foods. So it helps keep those um, levels lower uh, compared to higher if you're not drinking the apple cider vinegar. So that's one reason why we want to start drinking it. Another reason is because of digestion. So that's one thing that most people don't talk about when it comes to losing weight, but it's super, super important. So if you're not uh, appropriately digesting the food that you eat, a lot of it's getting wasted. So apple cider vinegar helps a lot in just in terms of you feel better after a meal. If you drink it before a meal, you feel better. You feel a little lighter. The bloating goes away. So that's one reason uh, why we want to add in the apple cider vinegar. And a third reason is because of stomach acid. So why in the world would you care about stomach acid? Well, again, if you're eating, even if you're eating healthy foods, but you don't have the stomach acid to break it down and get the nutrients, the vitamins, the phytochemicals, the antioxidants, then again, they're all just being wasted and you're not getting the health benefits from the healthy food that you're eating. And from the time you're 20 years old to the time you're 60 years old, your body produces 75% less stomach acid. So year after year after year, your body is naturally producing less stomach acid. And if you don't absorb the healthy foods that you're eating, then you're not getting any of the benefits of it, including the weight loss and the fat burning. So uh, apple cider vinegar helps build up that stomach acid in your stomach over time. So then you have it there to digest the foods that you're eating and it makes everything just run more efficiently and more smoothly. So those are the reasons why we want to start drinking apple cider vinegar. What I do is I drink it first thing in the morning. So I uh, mix in a tablespoon and I dilute it with a lot of water because I don't like the taste of it that much. Uh, so I do, you know, six to 10 ounces of lukewarm water. Um, I found the lukewarm water is easier to drink than the cold water. Uh, so I'll do that first thing in the morning and I'll drink it through a straw because um, it's very acidic, obviously. Um, so it can do damage to the enamel on your teeth. So you just drink it with a, a straw and bypass that whole problem. Uh, and then what you can do is either uh, drink it uh, 20 minutes before a meal or right before a meal if you just want to drink the apple cider vinegar. If you're going to do the, the, the vinegar and the water, uh, I would recommend drinking it 20 uh, minutes before each meal. So I usually have, you know, two to three every single day. Uh, so that's drink number one, uh, the apple cider vinegar uh, mixed with the water. Uh, and then drink number two, um, we do either coffee or tea. So one thing we add in, uh, what I have here is MCT oil is a great option. Um, so uh, other great options to add into your coffee or tea are heavy whipping cream, uh, coconut oil, or grass-fed butter. So to take things back a bit, um, if you want to start burning more fat, one thing that you can do is skip breakfast in the morning and make the coffee or the tea your breakfast. Now, you might be thinking, well, I'm going to be super, super hungry. You won't be if you add in the MCT oil, the coconut oil, the butter, or the uh, heavy cream because those are basically dietary fat, which means they're just fat. And so what the fat does is it gives you energy. So healthy fats don't make you fat. They actually help you burn more fat. So if you cut out the cereal in the morning or the bagel or even the, you know, if you, if you think you're doing it healthy by eating the brand cereal or the brand muffins or the whole wheat toast, those are still creating a huge insulin spike and causing your body to store fat first thing in the morning. So that's what we want to cut out. So if you cut those out and have a cup of coffee and instead of doing the 
creamer or the half and half or the sugar or the milk, you add in a tablespoon of MCT oil or coconut oil or butter or heavy cream, just pick one, don't do all four, that's a bit of an overkill, um, then we'll, what that will do is it will curb your hunger. So that fat will use, be used for energy in your body and it will help you push that first meal back to where you're not starving first thing in the morning if you skip your breakfast. So that's what I recommend with the coffee. Uh, I'm not a huge coffee drinker, so I usually go with green tea or black tea in the morning and add one of those in. Um, I usually do the heavy cream just because I think it tastes really good. Um, but start with the tablespoon and just see how it goes. You gotta kind of start trying these things out and see what works best for you. And maybe you'll realize maybe you like the coconut oil better or that helps you stay full longer. You kind of just gotta uh, play with it for a couple days and see which one works best for you. And then you can always mix and match every morning uh, depending on you know how you feel in the morning. So. Um, that again will keep your insulin level super, super low. Like we talked about before, if you're not eating anything, your body's not going to release insulin when you have just 100% fat, which is coconut oil or butter or heavy cream. Um, your body doesn't release uh, much, if any insulin, uh, to cover that. So your insulin levels are going to stay low all morning long and they're low when you're sleeping. So then you create that fat burning environment in the body. Whereas if you eat the bagels in the morning, or you have the orange juice in the morning, that's a huge insulin spike and fat burning immediately gets turned off and your body starts cranking out the insulin instead. Uh, so that's the main thing that we want to remember with these drinks is that they're keeping your insulin levels low so you can create this fat burning environment in your body to where over time you start burning fat um, very easily. So I've had people who have simply had the morning coffee um, with the heavy cream or the coconut oil in it and um, swapped out their, their old breakfast, uh, which usually wasn't very healthy, and have lost anywhere from two, three, four pounds in a week not changing lunch or dinner just by swapping out the breakfast and starting to have that uh, in the morning. So that's why the morning coffee... Uh, and the morning tea is uh, so important and it can make a huge difference. And that's kind of what I call, that's what I call hunger free fasting, where you're still fasting in the morning, uh, but you're consuming some calories. So you, you don't have the hunger. So the hunger gets curbed, but you still get all the benefits of fasting. So if you want to start burning more fat, start losing more weight, start adding in the apple cider vinegar before your meals, and then start doing the morning coffee where you cut out the breakfast and do uh, a cup of coffee or tea with uh, either one tablespoon of heavy cream, coconut oil, grass-fed butter, or MCT oil, which is basically just coconut oil. So I would just stick with that. So give those a try. Let me know how it goes. Uh, and since you took the time to actually watch this video, and since you're an action taker, since you want to improve your health, uh, I want to give you a free gift. So what I did is I created a couple years ago a system called Triple Your Fat Burden Overnight. And don't worry, it's not a ton of exercise. It's actually very easy and it plays off of what was in this video. So if you want that entire program 100% free, uh, just let me know, uh, just click the link below and let me know your best email address and I'll send it over to you again 100% free. Uh, just my way of saying thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button below. Uh, if you have any questions or anything you want me to cover in future videos, just leave them in the comments. I'm checking those every day. Uh, and then don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button because I'm cranking out new videos every single week to help you burn fat and lose weight quickly and easily. All right, talk soon.